Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy President's Day. Uh, good to have you all on the program today. Sorry for being a bit late, but it's been a busy uh, day and morning for me. School, of course, is canceled for today, so had to make arrangements there to make sure the kids were occupied. But it's good to be back with you for another broadcast of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, when we last left off, I think we had just made it to a nearby village. I think it's, was it called Lower Hogsmeade? So not Hogsmeade, but a town close to Hogsmeade, Lower Hogsmeade, something like that. Anyway, we had fished a bunch of stuff out of the water for uh, a member of the Slytherin house. And now we were exploring a town before going back to the castle. It was actually really weird because we discovered the town because we had to meet Natty there in order to comp uh, to pursue our primary quest. But there was really no point in meeting her there. She just told us something completely unrelated to the town. Uh, something to do with Professor Fig, I think, and then walked off. It was essentially just the developer's way of introducing us to this new nearby town. Um, and it didn't really work that well. <clears throat> Aside from that, I'm looking forward to exploring a brand new town, finding some new merchants, get some new loot, get some new gear. It's going to be great. The plan for today is to get it through as many of these side quests as possible. And that's, I think, how we're that's the strategy going, that we're going to employ for the majority of this playthrough. Knock out as many side quests as we can find. Move on with the primary plot until we unlock more side quests so that we don't miss anything. That's the goal. Hope you enjoyed the lore video over the weekend. I published a video on the directorate meeting for uh, the Institute. And yeah, not a lot of action, not a lot of loot, but a lot of story. Um, the directorate meeting itself was only maybe 10 minutes long, which is long for a meeting in a game. Uh, but the video was uh, almost 30 minutes long just because there was so much to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed that meeting. I'm uh, going to be getting to work on the next episode in the full story of Full on 5 pretty soon. So do expect that for the weekend. It's good to see everybody on the show today. Uh, let's take a look at Facebook first. Hold on. Institute. And there we go. Toby and Ruma Monogold. So good to see you, my friends. And of course, it's great to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters. On YouTube today, Slatty Bartfast, Tony J, John DeGiamberadino, Padre, Brandon Beltfed, Tilly, Pyro, Quintayus, Jake Wood, and Padre with the first super chat of the day. Says the problem with political jokes is that they sometimes get elected. Ooh. Burn. Turning vegan would be a big missed steak. Mistake, missed steak. That would be a missed steak. Thank you, Padre. What's next? Did you know electricians have to strip to make ends meet? See, I like that. It's clever in many, in many ways, right? You think it's funny because it's about stripping, and then you 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 tie in the ends meeting, and and it's about electricity. It's just beautiful. For chemists, alcohol isn't a problem. It's a solution. That is true. Alcohol is a solution. Thank you, Padre. Very wonderful contributions there. Alt Grendel says, uh, hi, Oxhorn, and everyone in chat. Hey there, Alt Grendel. Good to see you this Monday morning. Wolfie Miwi says, hi, Oxhorn. While you're here with your coffee, I'm here with a cup of nice matcha green tea tea. Oh, that's great, Wolfie. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I do like green tea from time to time. Don't know if I've tried matcha, uh, but I have. I do like green tea. James Eckenrod says, Happy Monday, Ox. Hope your weekend was enjoyable. It was. I took the kids to a an extreme trampoline park for extreme trampolining. And they had a blast running around. It's just so easy to, to get little kids' activity 
when they're <laughs> young. Because when they're young, they want to move. They want to run around, and, and they do want to play their devices too. But you give them something stimulating and something interesting, and they'll jump up and run around and burn off calories and get some exercise. It's great. Josh Bunton gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Josh. And congratulations to Brand Dawn, Air Suave, Sithgasm, Jason Semper, and uh, Beans Spartan? Spartan? Well, anyway, congratulations to all of you, and thank you so much to Josh Bunton. Julian Z says, Happy President's Day, Ox. So good to see you on this Legacy Wednesday. Hope you're well. Loved your lore video this weekend. Also, Atomic Hearts drops today, even if you don't play it. Will you watch any gameplay on it? No, I've decided to kind of wash my hands of Atomic Hearts. I'm a little disappointed, but, um, you know, there are so many other games out there, and I'm sure I'll find something else to work on with this, uh, uh, program as well uh, you know it's uh, maybe I'm I'm uh, overreacting or maybe I'm just being naive and there are, uh, uh, there are there are already too many games I've played on this channel that have um, dubious backgrounds and so on and so forth but I just didn't feel comfortable playing the game after everything that I had read and so I just chose for me I didn't want to play it again uh, no shame towards anyone who chooses to play it. That's completely your choice, and, and I respect that. But I think the thing that bothered me the most was um, Mundfish's reaction uh, to the war in Ukraine. It was so... It was so political to the point where it didn't even didn't even acknowledge it as a war. Like, it addressed the war without addressing the war. They're like, yeah, we hate conflict of any kind. We're all about peace. We just hope everyone has peace. And then they would pe call people trolls and spammers and hate mongers for calling it a war, right? And I realized that as a Russian company in Russia, especially at that time, you could be punished for calling it a war. I think there are still people in prison in Russia who protested it and called it a war, even though Putin has now come out and called it a war. But, um, and, and yeah, and there are many people at the company whose lives were likely on the line, right? And it's one thing to talk about uh, being uh, against a war while sitting here in America, and quite another to be sitting in Cyprus uh, with you know, Russian funding, Russian backing for your company, and having to make that decision. I get it. But the thing is, what I've figured is, if, and, and the, the thing that made me uncomfortable is I didn't know if, if whether the money that I spent on the game would go in any capacity towards funding Russia's war effort, right? I don't think that Mundfish is engaged in war, but what if they're paying taxes towards a Russian government that is engaged in war. And if I buy a game from a Russian company, I'm indirectly supporting Russia. Uh, so the way I see it is, uh, if a comfortable, or if, if a company is so uncomfortable talking about this pretty clear war, uh, then they're probably not the best company to give money to. That is to say, I don't know whether or not by giving money to Mundfish, I'm giving money to Putin. But if Mundfish is so afraid of Putin that Putin has the power to, uh, has the has the power to destroy their business or harm their business, then they probably are financially integrated with, you know, the Ru the Russian ecosystem in some way. Uh, so I'm just stepping back and I'm not going to play Atomic Hearts. That's just my personal choice. And um, we're going to instead move on with other games and find something else to do in the future. Canuck82 gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Canuck82. And congratulations to Hayden Finlay, Upton Coke, 
uh, Big Bud, <clears throat> Bexy's PC, and Amanda Ray. Congratulations, all of you. Game Psycho became a Silver Ox. Thank you so much, Game Psycho. Indigo the Blue Gem says the Blue Gem is... Uh, the blue one is here. Good afternoon, Ox. Hope your weekend was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. I had a great time. Thank you, Indigo the Blue Gem. Survivor from the old era says, Revelio! Ox, this game is gigantic. So many distractions. I had one progress blocking bug on a main quest, and I had to reload a manual save. Hard save often. Oh, dear God. Well, that's terrifying to hear. Okay, Survivor, thank you. I'll uh, I'll be sure to do that. Wolfie Miwi says, Matcha is basically green tea that's brewed using the entire tea leaf, unlike with normal tea. It's more potent and higher in caffeine. Ooh. I like caffeine. Sounds like my kind of green tea. Thank you, Wolfie Miwi. Jessica McDonald on Facebook says, Can you please ask Chowder to stop sailing your cigars to my cat, Hollyingsworth? He sounds like a chain smoker. Oh, I see. So, you're <laughs> so you've got a, ch a cat named Hollyingsworth? Hollyingsworth? Hollyingsworth. Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth. That's a cute name for a cat, Hollingsworth. And I, it sounds like your cat... Uh, growls and yells and screeches the same way mine does. My cat does is not a cute cat. There's nothing cute about my cat. You know how you see those videos on on uh, Reddit or something, and it's this cute little cat going meow, meow, meow. You know, it just has this cute. My cat does not know how to do that. It opens its mouth and goes meow, meow. It's not a cute cat. I don't know how this creature evolved because it certainly did not evolve to be kept alive for its cuteness. Ashley B.M. Smith says, Hi Oxhorn, greetings from the UK. Thank you very much, Ashley B.M. Smith. Greetings from the USA. Officer Dibble in the chat says, Good evening from the UK. Just caught the start. All right. Lots of folks from the UK here. Love it. Trevor... Uh, viewing became a gold ox. Thank you so much, Trevor Viewing. Indigo the Blue Gem says the fact that Chowder exists makes him cute. Well, I mean, there are some people uh, for whom cats can do no wrong, there's no such thing as a non-cute cat. Uh, but my cat is not cute. He's he's ornery, he's cantankerous, he's needy, he's loud, and for some reason, I still love him. Julian Z says, it's okay, Ox, March is almost here, which means The Last of Us for the PC drops. Something else to look forward to, yes. Good, there are other things that will be coming out, including that, and I am looking forward to it. Okay. Let's dive back into the world of Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, <clears throat> more dad jokes from Padre. Oh, here we go. Here's to chat being the fun in dysfunctional. Bad puns, okay. That's how I roll. Bad puns. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. Need an arc to save two of every animal? I know a guy. Know 
Jehovah God. Did you know that kleptomaniacs take things literally? I mean, they literally take things, yeah. Uh, this, this is great. You just, you're making my morning, Padre. Crushing Nuka-Cola cans is so depressing. So depressing, so depressing. By the way, you reminded me of something. Uh, last uh, week on Scotch and Smoke Rings, uh, the chat was asking me if I had any new Fallout props. Well, this just came. The Nuka-Cola bottle. Now, when this came out, it was $30. And I didn't want it. I'm like, I've got all of these bottles up here, and they actually look full with the fluid that they're supposed to have. <sighs> they're great, I, and I didn't want it. And time went on, and Bethesda sold out, and I couldn't find any anywhere. And I didn't care because I didn't want it. But then I kept seeing them pop up online. And then I realized that it is an official Bethesda prop. And it's one-to-one -one scale, which means it's the size of a bottle as it would be in the universe. And the more I thought about it, the more I wanted it. So I had to go on to eBay to find one. And I'm not going to tell you how much I spent on it, because it's... I'm ashamed of it, honestly. It's ridiculous. I'm pissed at myself that I didn't get it when it was $30. And I can't believe I spent this on a gl glass bottle. It's a piece of glass. It's a glass bottle, and I spent that much money. I'm just angry about it, okay? Just a little angry. But I got it. Finally came. And I haven't opened it yet, so I'm hoping it's not broken. Nuka Cola bottle. Comes with bottle caps. Individually packaged in foam. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, there it is. There's a one to one. Ooh, it's even got the green hue of uh, glass. It's a one to one scale replica of a Nuka Cola bottle. Wow. Okay, I'm actually pretty impressed at the quality here. Okay. I'm feeling better about this because I really like this. I mean, yes, it's glass, but the quality is really nice. Look, you can see the green in the glass, which you can't get with a 3D printed or a resin printed prop. You wouldn't be able to see that. I mean, I could fill this up with cola and then uh, get a pressing machine, like a, a bottle cap pressing machine. And put a cap on it, and boom. Then you'd have uh, a bottle of Nuka-Cola. And look at the label there. It just looks so great. The labels on my other ones are imperfect because, you know, they're all handmade. And so uh, sometimes you can see where they've been printed or sometimes they haven't been applied correctly. But that's perfectly applied. All right. I'm pretty pleased with this prop. Now, if only they would come out with one for every brand or every flavor of Nuka-Cola. I'm sad it's empty. I wish it was full. I'm going to have to fill it myself. Are these just like all the others? Nuka-Cola bottle cap? Yeah. These are just like all the others. All right. Well, I'm I'm feeling a lot better about that. I don't know why, but part of me kind of thought that it was going to be cheap and not a not a good re reproduction. But it's good. Julian Z says, uh, "No ox, don't feel bad. Feed the beast. I want to see you collect a whole vault's worth of Fallout props before you decide to admit that you have a problem." Look, look. I realized that I just went onto eBay and spent a. a an ungodly amount of money on a, on a glass bottle of all, of all things. I could have probably bought a, a vintage bottle from, you know, the 1600s that a medieval monk once kept brandy in that also contained parts of his blood and ink <sighs> and, and, and had that shipped to me and it would be an actual historic artifact and heirloom. But no, I bought, I bought a brand new piece of glass. So I'm a little bit ashamed, but it's, it's a great little bottle and it made me happy for a brief moment. 
I mean, I say that, but I'm, I'm genu genuinely happy. Generally happy all the time. It made me happier. It gave me a slice of joy that was just the dopamine, right? I I opened it and mm, I just got that jolt of dopamine. So worth whatever ridiculous amount of money I spent on it. Just mm, that dopamine. And now it's gone. <laughs> Rachel says, don't forget to tickle the pear. Right, I, you know, I heard that that's something that unlocks later, that I haven't, I haven't unlocked the ability to tickle any pears in this game. Of all of the abilities that you can unlock in video games, man, I have just been craving the ability to tickle pears. I mean, for some reason, there's just something so alluring about tickling the pears in that painting, so... Yeah, well, uh, as soon as I get the ability, I'm going to tickle those pears so we can go into the kitchen and take a look at all of the enslaved elves. Yeah, there's that. Hmm. Okay. my mouse. There it is. Wonder who lives here. New quest available. Wait, help the stranger? Did I just get a new quest? Trials of Merlin. A woman needs help just across the water beyond the dock. I need to attend herbology class taught by Professor Garlic in the greenhouses. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodging and rolling. Cast incendio on enemies. My field guide will not guide me through this assignment, but my map could prove useful. Okay, do I need to duel somebody? The Daedalian keys, find the remaining house tokens that are around Hogwarts. That's something we're working on. We've got seven of 16, so quite a ways to go. Crossed wands, round three. I need to go back and do another duel. Spell combination practice, talk to Luke and Brattleby. Okay, so everything is sending me back to the clock tower. But we're here in town. We're going to focus on this town. And then go back to Hogwarts. Julian Z says, Ox, don't worry about tickling pears. Just do all of the quests and you may find tickling along the way. Oh, that's nice. Nothing like an unexpected tickle. Rachel says, I believe you should now be able to tickle the pear. It's a bug where you can't do it right after you discover it. Oh. Okay, Rachel. When I'm back that way, I'll try to tickle some pears. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. But mommy, honestly, I don't have time to argue. I told you repeatedly. Not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, mommy. They're beautiful, beautiful. With wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, Mummy. Where's the kid? The the mom went outside. I wanna see some Pegasi. Let's explore her house. Oh, there's the kid. Can the kid tell me about the Pegasi? No. 
Well, let's just steal all her belongings. Look at that nice big chest. What's inside? Hey. It's mine now. I miss the old Level lock. Oh, imagine how I'd have felt as a boy if my headmaster cancelled Quidditch. Muggles have made life hard for I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Trevor uh, Viewig says, been a longtime fan of all of your lore videos, and I'm super excited to see you play this game. That was Trevor's first super chat. Thank you so much, Trevor. Uh, and I'm so grateful you came by to say hi. Survivor from the old era says, Natty said that she was investigating something in that town. It comes into play later. Merlin trials unlock inventory. So do them when you see them, Revelio. Okay, will do. Thank you, Survivor from the old era. Indigo the Blue Gem says, petition for Ox to use the bottle for rum and coke from now on. I mean, yeah, but that runs the risk of breaking it. I can't do that for something I bought on eBay for a ridiculous amount of money. Freddie Simmons says, don't forget there's a bunch of eyeball chests in Hogsmeade. That's right. I need to go back and uh, get those eyeball chests. Thank you, Freddie Simmons. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Okay, southwest. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Southwest ruins danger. This will give me an opportunity to do my other quest, which is to dodge and use Inferno. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Incendio. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. 
What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Okay, ingredients. Lacewing flies, toadstool caps, and leech juice. That's it? I mean, we find all of this stuff lying around everywhere. Combat tools, Erdus potion, Maxima potion, and Wiggle Weld potion. Oh, we can use the opportunity to sell. That's worse. I'll have no trouble selling this. That's Thank better. You. That's worse. That's worse. Worse. Velvet school robe. Legendary. Did I get a legendary robe that's better than this? I hope to see you again sometime. Let's see. Let's go to the glasses and put these suckers on. Oh, that is so much better. Yeah. Distinguished school robe. Well, uh, much better than my velvet one. All right, let's sell the velvet one then. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Trevor Viewing what says, can I help you with today? Make note of the odd looking statues with the blue orbs. Collecting them for quests allows you to unlock doors. Then the game really opens up. You know, I saw some of those in Hogwarts, but I couldn't do anything with them at the time. I hope to see you again sometime. Revelio. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. I'm just tearing this poor lady's house up okay, to get one little bag. Okay, so this is, uh, let's see. We need to go southwest, but then there's that tent right there. Tell you what, let's go get that quest just to see what it is, and then we'll go southwest to help out this poor guy. Revelio. This way, think. Incendio. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough that of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! There'll be more of that. Run, hand me! I will not be caught without your. Put me! Levius! It's your life hanging in the air, not mine! Incendio. You're in. That was great. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. The collections section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses, to certain spells. Perhaps a nice flag. I got hold them all. I'm not going anywhere with you. You take this student off of my stage, and send you. Stop that right now. Levioso, you knew what that could do. Little brat. 
incendio. Tell her on himself. How embarrassing. Let me answer. Did I get that other what guy that came? just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Speak with the stranger. All right, so can I loot their bodies? I think that was my first fight against humans out in the wild, but their bodies magically disappear. All right, I was trying to, uh, to achieve some of the other uh, objectives in my other quests. Remember, I needed to dodge and use Inferno. Let's see how well I did there. Cast Incendio on enemies, 3 of 5. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling, 3 of 10. All right. Vince M says, Afternoon Ox, just a tip. Completing Merlin Trials will increase your maximum inventory slots. Cheers. Thank you, Vince M. Great news. Wolfie Miwi says, uh, Jalal Semi, the Lower Hogsfield Potion Shop Guy, is voiced by J.B. Blanc, who voiced Rost in Horizon Zero Dawn and your Mac in Metro Exodus. Hey, interesting. Thank you very much, Wolfie. Ian Chamberlain says, Been a good few years watching the show. Play on. Thank you, Ian Chamberlain. Will do. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Nocturne Alley? I wonder where that is. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Hmm. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin was a Slytherin. Merlin went to Hogwarts? Hogwarts is that old? Huh. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Mallow Sweet. So I'm guessing like a marshmallow substance? This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, 
and we'll see what happens. All right. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Accio! This is uncharted territory. Let me so. curious about these pyres. Incendio! Balance beard! The flames make the pyre sink. are back where they started. So it's a timer of some sort. Oh, there are more of them. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. I forgot that there's no day. I can hardly believe it. I forgot that there was no cooldown uh, when you're using magic outside of combat. So I tried all of my other spells um, before going back to Incendio. There was something here. Revelio. There was a green Merlin statue here, but it's gone now. Wolfie Miwi says, to be specific, J.B. Blanc, the voice of Rost in Horizon Zero Dawn, voices many characters in Hogwarts Legacy, not just that potions shop guy. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Wolfie Miwi. Trevor Viewing says, Hogwarts was founded around 920 AD. By whom? I wonder if we're going to find that out. I mean, if Hogwarts, a magic school was founded before Merlin and actually taught Merlin. There must have been some very powerful wizards indeed who predated Merlin. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Trials of Merlin, quest complete, all right. Different challenges offer different rewards. Complete Merlin trial challenges to increase, and then I missed that. I'm guessing carrying capacity? Revelio. Sorry, broke your apples. <laughs> okay, well, quest complete. Um, let's go try and help this poor goblin guy. Brett Bus says, uh, Hogwarts was founded by four people. Each house is named after them. I thought those were the people who built it. So it was the people who founded it. All right, well, I wonder what their stories are. Okay, I want to make sure... You're here for my wares. I'm afraid I... I have the right spells equipped. Levioso. Ac Accio. 
Disillusionment. I'm gonna need that when I go to Hogsmeade so that I can do all of my, um, uh, sleuthing to get the eye, eye chests. Lumos. It's not dark. And Rapario. Um, uh, I wish I could switch between. Like, if I could build a different... Huh. Now it looks like I have the ones I need. Revelio. That must have been his cart. Can I repair it? Repair it. I cannot. All right, let's try and help this guy out. You know what? I, I better uh, get my fingerings right because let's make number three incendio because I was already using that for Lumos. Can I use that to get a sheep? Accio. No. Just thought it would be fun. Canuck says Godric Gryffindor, Rowena Ravenclaw, Helga Hufflepuff, and Salazar Slytherin. Okay, so they were the founders After of After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. All right, let's, let's uh, track the right quest, make sure we're going in the right direction. Cart it away. Uh, Julian Z says, uh, Ox, the founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. Thank you. I just didn't realize they were that old. I kind of thought that they were, that Hogwarts, I mean, look at the castle, though. Hogwarts is, it's like a high fantasy French style castle. It, it doesn't look like it would have been built pre-Merlin. I mean, just taking a, a look at the architecture. Castles that were built in King Arthur's time if you're here for my wares, don't I'm look like that. Still don't they look carts. almost Roman. But then again, I suppose it could have been updated a lot since that time. All right. Like other just bags of gold lying by the roadside. <coughs> Pardon me. Pavel Kolarski says you will unlock more spell slots through talents. Okay, thank you, Pavel. Beasts welcome. Ooh. Ooh, we got a big old skeleton. Whoa, what happened here? Fort Archie. Revelio. Her, her, Hebridi, her Hebridian Black Scale. The Hebridian Black is a large dragon that can grow over nine meters in length. A large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Who's Archie Bickle? Did we... And what happened to his hideout? It looks like something bad happened here. 
Revelio. Perhaps this is part of a quest, and we'll learn more about it later. Let's take a look at our map. How far away are we? Ooh, it's quite a walk. West Hogwarts Valley. What's this? Treasure Vault? Oh, yeah. Gotta go to the Treasure Vault. <gasps> Bit of a sidetrack, everybody, but Treasure? Treasure Vault? Oh, yeah. It's beneath me. Ah. Indigo the Blue Gem says, bless you. Thank you, Indigo. Trevor Viewing says, it was created using ancient magic and can alter its own layout. I wouldn't be surprised if it looked different. Also, some headmaster also added to it. I see. Yeah, I, I gotta remember, it's it's magic. Hor hork lump juice. Okay, well, we found our first treasure vault. I mean, it's like... When I was in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I've got to explore each and every one of these. Well, let's get Lumos up. No. No. Lumos. Levioso Incendio Oh man It's blocked Revelio uh, I'm guessing this I'm guessing I'll Be able to unlock this later Unless there's something nearby I've got to do Hello. Akio. Yes. It's Lumos. Oops, I just interrupted myself. Revelio. Lumos. Treasure. Puzzle. Okay. Uh, this has been looted. Incendio. There are sticks in here. I can't set them on fire. Lumos. Incendio. Can't set those on fire. Akio. Ooh. What? Okay, this is creative. There we go. Cuffed school robe. Is that it? Akio.
Yeah, I guess that's it. Does it have any other purpose? Where'd it go? Akio! Oh. I just want to see if it does anything else. I don't think it does. Cat5 says, if the mark on the map goes away, then you got the item. Oh. Yeah, all I see is the Merlin trial now. There's a field guide page over here. I'm getting distracted. I just need to focus on my quest marker. All right. I think I got it. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's another trial of Merlin. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Let me also. won't get the best of me. <sighs> Revelio. Okay, Merlin trial done. Dark mongrel. Levioso, Incendio, Lumos. Rebellion. I'm so glad the game has opened up a little bit. It took a while, but I'm finally able to just like explore. It's great. Okay, uh, focus, focus, focus. Where am I going? I gotta go save the the goblin's gear. Wolf says Cat Five. Yeah, but those wolves were easy. They didn't even Pass charge. Pass the runes. I'm on the right track. Lumos, Levioso, Incendio.
Eight Shall legs we? is simply too many. <laughs> I agree. Ox horns bottom. That was a giant spider, man. Okay, oh dear god, over there, Hogwarts, Feldcroft, Caution, Keenbridge, this is just a lot of stuff. Rebellion. What's this? I deserve better than patrol duty. Your blood on Ranrock's hands. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Okay. So I need to infiltrate this camp. We should have killed that traitor arm when we took his cards. This is a fortified position, all right. Ooh, there's a trail of Merlin inside. When the war is over, goblins will rule over wizards and... Revenue. Looks like there's more than one way to enter, he says, and yet I'm finding it difficult Any here. Who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. Hmm. Algie Satchel says, fun fact, the British called football soccer, and the US did the same. Then they started calling it football. Now they think Americans are weird for saying soccer, even though it was their idea first. Really? I didn't know that. Revenue. Mushrooms stew like what my mother used to make. Like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. I gotta free the cart from the encampment. But this is also a really good opportunity to get some combat in to complete some of my other challenges. Well, I've done a huge perimeter sweep here, and looks like there's no way to enter but through the front gate. Nothing open. Incendio. Uh. 
Incendio has a really short range. More spawned? What? Never anything interesting around here. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. Okay, is there like a boss I gotta kill first? Loyalist Sentinel, Loyalist Warrior. There's a big box right there well, I could I wouldn't interact give with. A cup of mushroom tea. Ouch! Akio! No! That's embarrassing, isn't it? You are terribly unmanned! Who do you think you give up? Akio! Is that the best you can do? Let me listen. Ramrock will be pleased! Ouch! And down I go! All right, well, I need to figure out the mechanics for why a bunch more spawned in. I was clearing it out. Not your best moment, I fear. How many of you are there? Enjoy suffering, do you? Okay. Now, to free Arn's cards. <clears throat> Got him. Almost died in the process. Indigo the Blue Gem says, I don't exactly know why I'm sending this, but I feel like I should say this. I try not to say this in chat, but thank you. Seriously, thank you. Your videos and streams have pulled me out of seriously dark places. Thank you. Indigo the Blue Gem, you're extremely kind. You know what? Sometimes people just need community. They just need... Other people with whom they get along with, they can relate to, and they can just talk to. And you know what? That's a lot of fun for me, too. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you guys are here. Revelio. Oh, I see. That must be his gear. Akio. Oh, <laughs> I did something there. Oh, I can't unlock this one yet. Wait, no, I unlock it over here. Okay, so that's the gear. Oh, they're Quite enchanted. An enchantment. 
The carts are returning to on. Maybe I needed to get rid of them first. Hey, that's cool. Well, I hope he gets his paintings back. Hello. Oh. That's for the trial. Okay, they were all stacked in there. Because the goblins didn't know what to do with them. Lumos. Well, then what's this big box for? Akio. All right, that's one, I guess. Oh. There's another one. Huh. Okay, where would more of those little balls be? Lumos. Somewhere in here. Oh, I see what it's for. Akio. Lumos. Do I use the same balls? Okay, there's an entire section over there I haven't explored yet. So we'll just do our due diligence here, run around real quick. Okay. Now over here. Ah. Okay, well, we know of one other Lumos. Gotta be down here somewhere. No, maybe they're just hiding around somewhere because the, the goblins didn't find it yet. Well, they've got to be close. Okay, the next one is over here. So let's browse the perimeter. Revelio. Ah. Huh. And there we go. Uh. Akio. They're in there. So do I burn it? Incendio. Yeah. Oh, cool. Akio. Oh, 
yourself will be proud. Boom! Okay, 80 experience. Return to Arn. Revelio. Yeah, I think we did it. And I think we looted the place. Great. Well, we should be able to fast travel back, but I think there's a cave over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm standing right over a cave of some sort. Let's see if we can find the entrance. Lumos. Oh, is that it? Incendium. Lumos. Akio. Lumos. Akio. Lumos. Huh. Akio. to drag this. There's another one. And another one. Right. Maybe, uh... Lumos. Those rocks have nothing to do with it. Yeah, you can see... Oh, it's a mongrel lair. A den inhabited by mon mongrels. Oh, I thought it was another treasure area. No. Okay, well, I killed all the mongrels, so... Right, let's go back to town. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. He really does not like spiders. <laughs> Lumos. There's the carts. Just 
Just a giant dragon skeleton sitting here. Ugh. Can't interact with anything. Okay, Arn, I want to see some of your paintings. I want to see what goblin painting looks like. If you're here for my wares... Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. That's a little excessive, we could say. Or, no, 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 that sounds wonderful. I like that. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Quest complete. All the best to you. Carted oh, once away. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Once his carts arrive, he's happy to show us his wares, and he's walking back that way now. So let's let's go with him. Nix Nix became a silver ox. Thank you so much, Nix. What? What was that? Did he just teleport? But he ragdolled for a minute there. What was that? Wait, there's another Merlin trial? God, how many Merlin trials are there? Lumos. Yeah, there's one right up the hill here. It's another one of those ball things. Accio. Oh, that's a bummer. I thought they would have like a... I thought each trial would be unique. All right, now to find the next one. Revelio. There it is. Accio. Getting a lot of Moonstone. I wonder if it's really worth it. Benjamin says, I think the puzzle depends on which zone you're in, Ox. Oh. All right, well, this one is sorted. Benji Lad says, get yourself a beer. Thank you, Benji Lad. Well, this was a really small town.
Why? I need a new mouse so bad. I'm trying to figure out what these white dots are. Mongrel lair. Field guide pages. I mean, I am close. And there's the flu marker. I might as well get it. There's another Merlin trial on the way back. And another treasure vault. Ooh. All right, I'm going to get the field guide page. I'm going to get the waypoint, and then I'm going to zap back. Cat5 says, zoom all the way out on the map and look to the right. Well, it's a big map. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. Thank you, Cat5. Well, it's day. <coughs> Wait until you get a broom, says um, Sean Fernando. All right, this is the one that I already looted. Yeah, once, once I get a broom, this world will really open up and it'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Revelio. Mertlap tentacles. Mertlap tentacles are a rare potion ingredient known to raise resistance to certain dark charms and contain healing properties. An overdose, however, can cause purple ear hair... Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay, now I need to go to the waypoint, and that was over here. Better unlock as many of these as I can while I'm here running around. Cat5 says there's a list on the right of the thing in zone. Oh, you meant the, you, the legend over here? I saw it, but it's gone now. There it is. I see. <clears throat> Oh, I see. So, okay, this can make it easier to track all of the things in each zone. Got you. Thank you, Cat5. <laughs> all right, where are we? What are you up to now? It's just in some person's house. I'm just stealing all their stuff. Okay, so it's a flu flame and a fireplace. Revelio. I don't know about centaurs, but there hasn't been a dragon in history worth losing a hair over. Oh, but that is a chest. Hold on. Muggles have made life hard for us since no. the dawn of time. 
Historically speaking, there's never been a team like this year's cannon. There it is. What was that? What? What was that? Oh! <laughs> Honking flowers. Okay. Well, that's brilliant. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go to quests. Let's track the next one. Can't do that yet. Could do that. Could do that. How are we doing there? I need to avoid one more attack. So I need to get into combat or something. Oh. Ooh, there's a big mongrel lair over there. Treasure vault there. Let's go get that. Be right back. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Okay. I passed a treasure vault on my way, and there's also a Merlin trial. Treasure vault first. Jessica on Facebook says, What's a cat's favorite breakfast cereal? Mice and Crispy. Okay, nice. Should that be Mice Krispies? Mm, I'll have a bowl of Mice Krispies. I should investigate. I should investigate, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> oh. Disgusting. <gasps> well, well, well. Incendio. Tasty vittles. What's this? Revelio. What is this? Uh. Akio. Julian Z says crossed wands will put you in combat. Yes, it will. All right. Well, we Lumos. Have another vault and potentially another puzzle. That's it. I guess that's it. Revelio.
Strange insignia. Doesn't appear to do anything though. So this isn't a Merlin trial. I can't put any of the mallow leaves on it. Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. It is a basin of some sort. So I wonder if I can roll something into it, like a big ball that I can roll. Huh. Maybe I don't have the tools I need to interact with it yet. I mean, that wouldn't have anything to do with it, would it? That was for the other thing. Akio. It disappeared. Did you see that? It just vanished. All right, maybe there's something up here that I rolled down the hill. There's the Merlin trial. Oh, look at that. Look at that giant ball. Go. Gravity, do your thing. Come on, gravity. Really? Uh. Whoops. Well, that was a glitch. it out. What was that? Uh. Revelio. Okay. Treasure cave looted. Merlin trial complete. Back to Hogwarts. Let's do one of those uh, duels. See if we can complete the next step. All right, well, we're back at Hogwarts, so let's... Oh, if, if I fast travel back, I'm going to... 
miss out on one of the keys. There's a Merlin trial just outside of Hogwarts. All right. Hogwarts. Ooh, and there's a new quest here in the Southern Wing. Spell combination practice. Oh, okay. So these are the two quests that I was doing. Let's do crossed wands because that'll be able to... Um, we'll be able to use that to dodge. Oh, is there a flu flame I've been missing? In the library annex. Yeah, I'm going to pass right by it. Revelio. The Well of Four Beasts. Some students believe that a wish made over the Well of Four Beasts, whether near the Thestral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. Can we jump into the Well of Four Beasts? I mean, one way to find out. Oh, we can't jump in the well. Oh, man. Revelio. Oh, there's a mirror here. Did I get this one? Future champion coming through. Level lock. I can't get it. All right. Well, here we are. Which one? There we go. Von Rex says, you missed Algae Satchel. It was a dad joke, so I'm trying to bring it to you. I hate stairs. I swear they're always up to something. Oh, Algae Satchel. Nicely done. And thank you for that, Von Rex. Stairs are always up to something. Crossed, wrong, uh, crossed wands. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yeah. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh, yeah. Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Break through red shields with damage spells like the fire making spell Incendio. Target lock caps lock lets you track enemies without aiming. Use the right number pads to change targets while locked. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. In 
incendio. Labioso. Feed it again! Gosh! Care to try again? Well, I'll keep practicing. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Walk in front of her or something? I had one left. Let's try again. Ah. Trevor Viewing says, just a heads up, the swinging clock arm is part of a puzzle. I haven't figured it out yet, though. Thank you, Trevor. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Incendio. Tricky. Let's try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Incendium. 
incendio. Come on. Mostly luck, that's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Uh oh. <clears throat> All right. Yes. Quest complete, crossed wands, round three. Quest updated, Professor Hecate's assignment number two. All right, so I think we got enough dodges in there. But we've got someone else to talk to here. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Uh, no. Actually, I might come back later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. <clears throat> okay, I thought the other person was here. New quest available. Trevor says stupefy counter breaks all shields. Does it really? Okay. Okay, Professor Hecat's assignment number two, defend, or uh, attend the Defense Against the Dark Arts class during the day. Daedalian keys, spell combination practice. Two, why can't I do this? Crossed Wands Club meets regularly in the clock tower. I should be able to find Lucan and Brantleby there. Spell combination practice two. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, he's right there. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? Actually, I might come out later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. It's the training dummy, says Drake Shot. Really? I thought it was... The training dummy is just something I can always do. That's not part of the quest. All right. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. Oh, if you need okay. to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Akio. Incendio. Levioso. Nicely done! Akio, incendio. That's it! Akio, incendio. Levioso. Incendio. Excellent fall. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. All right, done and done. 
Okay, the clock tower is part of a puzzle, says Chad. Rebellion. Maybe it's for a spell I don't have yet. Because <clears throat> I think I need to pause the pendulum at, at one of those circles, I'm guessing. You need the Glacia spell. Okay, yeah. Alright, so it's a spell I don't have yet. Trevor says, I've been told by the chat you need the ice spell. Alright, that's what I thought. Okay, we just completed those two quests, and in so doing, we completed another quest. There are no more side quests available for me in Hogwarts. Look at that. All of the flags are white, which means... We move on to Professor Hecate's assignment number two, or we go to Herbology class. Let's do this one, so we can get Expelleremus. Martin Sespregi says, Howdy, wonderful people. Glad I could pop in. How are things? Having fun, Ox? Things are great. I'm having a blast. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm getting Assassin's Creed Odyssey vibes with this. Uh, what with And Witcher 3 vibes, right? With all of the, the, the challenge tombs that we can find, the treasure tombs, and uh, all of the little side puzzles that we can find in the open world aspect of it. It's really fun. Gontro Dim says, glad to see you, Ox. I finally have my gold derby. Hey, Gontro Dim, a member for 24 months, got his gold derby. Thank you, Gontro Dim. It looks good on you. All right, we're going to run. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. You can't be B, can you? The best duelist won, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing to be learned at Hogwarts. Lost to a new student. Hmm, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Poor guys. To be said. They're a little bitter. All right, let's see if we can find any more data and what are they called? The keys while we're running around here. What's this? Incendio. Oh, that's right. Now that we've got Incendio, we're going to unlock more of those. Revelio. Wrong bathroom. There's a treasure chest. Oh, that's right. It's level locked. there was one mirror that I hadn't figured out yet, but I forgot where it is.
All you need is a montage. Montage. I hope you were able to take care of Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Oh. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelling armors. Yeah. Disarms wands and weapons from most enemies who wield them. Also deals damage to all enemies even if they do not carry a weapon. Expelling armors. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Different types of enemies will react in different ways when disarmed. Okay, cool. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Ah, uh, I was thinking I could disarm a lock, but I guess not. Cool, done and done. Let's uh, find the next quest. And that's just over here. Herbology class. And it's not on your nose. Uh, that gargoyle. Revelio. All right, this Is she growing pungus onion again. Here we go. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Oh, God. <laughs> is, is she going to be like this the entire How time? How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Oh. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? Fibrous First, friends? Let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. It's gonna scream at me, isn't it? That's what mandrakes do.
guess we need to repair the glass. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! There we go. Glad the glass I'm didn't very fall on sorry the kids. About that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. All right. We'll do some dittany in just a second. Be right back. New copy.
Thank you for your patience, everyone. Yeah, Indigo the Blue Gem says, do your kids talk about you at school? Uh, I have no idea. I, I hope not. I hope not. Um... Uh, Rima Monogold says, and in this game, Oxhorn gets his revenge on those stinking wolves, lol. Where there are wolves, I shall get my revenge. Okay, talk to Professor Garlic. Of course, the head of herbology is named Garlic. Hmm, I wonder if hippogriffs like knockgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf, we can say, or oh, I enjoyed it. Oh man, we, we, we enjoy plucking out mandrakes. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifflers Bound to bloom. Or roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay, so let's make some dittany. We just unlocked a potter's table. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Yep. Select the available seeds to begin planting. Once the seeds have been planted, the plant will take time to grow before being ready to harvest. Dittany. The leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wigan Weld Potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots of any size. Growth time 10 minutes, plant size, small plant. Select. Okay, ready in 10 minutes. Done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out and ah. introduce you to a different sort of flora, ah. the Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yes, I got that from the name. Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, she's insufferable. Oh my God. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Yeah, okay, didn't I defeat you in a duel? All right, let's go. Not sure why he's going with me if I'm leading him, but all Nice right. work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. That Excuse was me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Mm. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did.
Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust oh. me, you do not want to go through that. Here we go. Let's put our thumb in a Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Okay, toss a cabbage at a dummy. This is where I am in my life. Hold tab and tap uh, the middle mouse to open the tool wheel and assign the Chinese chomping cabbage. Then tap tab to use your assigned tools. Chinese chopping cabbage, venomous tentacula, edurus potion, Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Well, now it's rolling Vicious around. Little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm, I suppose they could come in handy, sure, but that's just a dummy, or I was imagining it already. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh! It disintegrates after a while. All right. Well, that'll be interesting. Throwing cabbages at enemies. Revelio. Dirgible plum. This orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can en enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Hmm. Can I loot it? <gasps> no. Man, this greenhouse is a maze. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Did he lose a finger? Potting table, didn't he? The leaves of this... Oh, four minutes and 50 seconds. I see. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. We could say that we don't care much for plants and probably break her heart. <laughs> Or we could say, as am I, plants offer so much. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you. 
and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitter root to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everlay. Julian C says, uh, Ox, I personally love using the Chinese chomping cabbage. I collect all that I can and throw one down at every battle. Nice. Okay, we still got to wait on this two minutes. I mean, I'm just gonna get Dittany leaves from it, so I've got seven of those. What do these do? Ten tenacious tentacula that when deployed shoot acid at nearby enemies. Venomous tentacula seeds can be purchased at dogwood and death cap must be grown in large pots. This is really interesting. Okay. No new side quests. Let's go to potions class. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. My parents were thrilled to hear that one. Shouldn't there be all resort with someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Ooh. Grandma. Oh! more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Excellent. Aha! First time's the charm. House token, all right. Rebellion. Time for potions. Memorandum, date the 31st of December, 1875, from Auror Office, subject Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Interesting. I wonder if we'll find that shop. Rebellion. All right, I'll go there in a minute. Let me loot this place first. I don't think I've explored the potions area yet. It's all new to me. Always money laying about. Professor Sharp's Auror Badge. Aurors comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Auror Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Revelio. Oh, 
Okay. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Is that why he's still Before limping? Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Huh, so poor guy sustained some sort of damage in the line of duty and Wigan Weld couldn't cure Use it. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. All right. Strong and even. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. A One pinch. errant sneeze could be disastrous. Just a pinch of dittany. And a dollop of hork lump juice. Mm. A little bit more hork lump juice. Gotta stir it. Hold on, here we go. Oh yeah, stir that cauldron. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm, not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Mm. Okay, let's go get Ash Binder eggs me home and from Dark this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Ah. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. A fwooper feather? All these Gryffindor guys always getting into trouble. Sure, why not? I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Fwooper. Remember. Okay, Mongrel Fur, ew. Got it. Let's see, what's this? The Ashwinder Eggs, nice. Got it. Let's see. Let's try not to make a mess here. Ooh, is that a whooper feather? Wow, collection found foo whooper. Your 
Lucian should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Where is he? There he is. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Right. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and potion station unlocked. <clears throat> Brew potions from unlocked recipes at the potion station. Recipes and ingredients can be purchased from select shops. Ingredients may also be grown and found in the wild. Erdus potion. A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Brewing time, 30 seconds. That's not too bad. I wonder how I use them. Do I use tab? Like uh, with the cabbages? There we go. Pick it up. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh, oh no! Oh god! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Well, who could have predicted? What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Yeah, that's me. Sorry, guy. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I don't know what you mean. We could lie, or we'll say I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Does that mean I get a player home? I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. Quest complete, potions class. All right, we're level 19. New quest available. Let's see what's new. We haven't looked at our gear recently. We got a bunch of it. Uh, anything new? It's good. No, no. Rugged dueling gloves are worse. Outfit. Worse, worse, worse. I need to sell all this stuff. Worse, better. Olive patterned robe. It's only two points better for offense. But I still don't have the ability to put traits in things, so might as well wear it. Oh man, now I'm all golden. And that's it. All right, let's go to quests. Still on the Daedalian Keys. Tell Professor Fig about the map chamber. Is that it? Maybe it didn't... Oh. By new quests available, it's probably the map. Let's check the mail. Yeah. 
Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Heck it. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Are these all old? Yeah, these are all old messages. Right. So we'll go to uh, map. Let's see what new quests are available. Aha, here we go. Black flag. Bell Tower Wing. What have we got? Summoner's Court, match one. Summoner's Court is a popular is popular at Hogwarts. Students often gather near the board looking for new opponents to challenge. As one would imagine, the competition among the houses is fierce. Having defeated Natty Nye and Leander Pruitt, I have demonstrated that I am capable a capable competitor. I look forward to finding new opponents. Go to the Summoner's Court board. That's what we'll do. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Actually, I feel like I've been doing side quests the entire broadcast. Even though many of these smaller quests were part of the main quest, I think I want to advance the plot a little bit. And that sends us here to the Great Hall. Descending for sweets? It appears Gareth Weasley wants to speak to me. No, this is Gareth Weasley. Okay, well, how do I go talk to what's his name? Ollivander's heirloom. Oh, he's in Hogsmeade, that's why. Well, it's been a while since we've been to Hogsmeade, and there are all of those chests. Let's go there. Be right back, bio break. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Prepare a save me more broken glasses than my care. Spare a cannot, a sickle, a galleon. Let me say the stupefy combined should be telling them to me. I simply pretended that someone had used it as their love. You went to the Zara Express, did you know? I'm not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell when no one's looking. You think no one spells this? I could have some gold. Stop at leaving their tracks for stupefy. Or just for run of hops. Come now, the very certainly didn't feel the charm of my potion. That's so back when I was at school. Spare a canut, a sickle, a galleon? Look like an inferior. Pretty though. New instruments are expensive, <laughs> you know. Okay, good to be back in Hogsmeade. Now, if we're going to open up these chests, we need to use disillusionment. So let's equip that. Revelio. Handy resource indeed. Okay, there's one over here. Got it! Oh, and it looks so defeated. What did I get? I wasn't even paying attention. I was just watching the poor thing. Ugh. 
Revelio. Scriven Shaft Cats. These cats seem to stay close to Sh uh, Scriven Shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves for them. What a cat. Revelio. Nobody's looking at you. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Not socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have some. I'd socks. rather have no socks. So the problem is that if I use Revelio to find the chests, they show up yellow, but even the un the ones I've opened are Revelio. also yellow. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores, choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Jerobold Ollivander, or Jerobold Ollivander. In the profession of wandcraft since, since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. How will this benefit me? I'm not sure I'm up to the task, or... Sounds intriguing. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see... About a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlery. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Interesting. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wandmaker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also... I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special, but not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no, nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return, and that power is immeasurable. So it had sentimental value. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. <clears throat> All right, everything else is on hold. This is Rebellion. what I want to do. Crosmer says you can change gear look 
by what you unlock, can look as you want and use different gear, also sell gear and check your challenges to unlock skills. Thank you, Crosmar. Uh, I, I'm aware of the transmog ability, but I haven't chosen it just because I get gear so quickly that I would spend way too much time constantly transmogging all new gear that I get. Okay, Summoner's Court match one. I need to go to the court board. I need to continue the data link keys, and I need to go to the Owlry. But while we're here in Hogsmeade, I want to sell. Revelio. And I want to find more of those eyeball chests. Like that one. Five hundred. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't attack him. <laughs> I tried to open my inventory. Okay, uh, hold on. Let's go to gear. I don't have anything new. What can I do for you today? Let's sell. Worse. 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 Better. Worse. Better. Worse. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oh, really? I gotta wear these goofy looking things? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. And, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. What, what can even? I do for you today? Here we go. Potion recipes. Focus potion recipe. A recipe for a potion that reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. Recipe for a powerful damage potion. Recipe for a potion that makes the drinker practically invisible. And recipe for a potion that increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. We've got a lot of money, but I'm not really seeing a use for any of this just yet. I hope Maybe to later. see you again. Farewell for now. Rebellion. Okay. Revelio. I know there are more of those chests, but there's one. Another 500. Kit Cowling says, Ox, you can change. Your appearance. Yay, cosmetic. Uh, yeah, I know, but I um, it takes time to go through and transmog things, and I don't want to invest that time. Crosmer says you can just make items invisible as you use them. Yeah, I could do that, but again, I don't have to take time to do that for each piece of clothing that I don't want to wear. Plus, I think it's fun changing my character's appearance in a ridiculous, Im impractical, and unpredicted way as I collect more loot. I mean, if anything becomes too grating, I'll, um, I'll definitely change it. Revelio. 
Right, so it looks like we're just getting a bunch of money from these these chests. Which is great. I do love bunches of money. Another 500. Uh, Dragon's Rule says, if Nick Valentine was a wizard. <laughs> yeah, the fedora. Uh, Jarrell says, Ox, transmog doesn't cost anything. You can change appearance at any time. Yes, I am aware. I am, I am very aware. Thank you all. Revelio. Well, I might not be able to get all of the chests in Hogsmeade at this moment, but... Oh. Revelio. I'll get as many as I can. Revelio. Okay, there's stuff in here, but I can't get in that house just yet. Hogsmeade, here I come. And I got that one. All right. I think I might have gotten the major ones. Let's go round to back Hogsmeade real quick. Ah. Got it. Level one lock. Indigo the Blue Gem says, I just clipped the cabbage attack. Want me to send it to you so you can make it a short? Lol. <laughs> You're welcome to send it to me on Twitter if you'd like. Uh, I don't know if, <laughs> if it's enough to, to turn it into a short. Especially without context, people might not get it. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't accidentally kill our potions guy. Revelio. Yeah, I think uh, we might have done it. Oh. Man, 500 each time? Rebellion. I am raking in the caps here. And that brings me back to my start point. Wait, no. Hello, what's this? An abandoned house. Expelliarmus. Leviosa. Akio. Incendio. Revelio. I don't see anything of interest inside the house, but yeah. Who needs keys when you know Okay. Let's go back to Hogwarts. Sir Dewin's precarious cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sir Dewin's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effort or effect. Rebellion. 
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, he's gonna say that every time I come to town. That's gonna drive me crazy. Okay. Now. Ooh, it's way over here. We haven't been there yet. And there's a new quest here. Ghost of our love. No, no, no. That's the quest I'm on. Wait, no, it's not. Well, in the owl owlry, I came upon a treasure map at the top of the tower. I'm not sure whom it belonged to, but it might not hurt to take a peek. Well, I, I have not done that yet. <laughs> uh, spoiler, I guess. All right. Uh, how can I... F what's the fastest way there? Probably this one. Library. Ooh, what's that? Oh, the Anatheum. Right. Let's go to the Owlry. Indigo the Blue Gem says, Unfortunately, I don't have Twitter. Could I send it via Facebook? Yeah, send it uh, however you would like. Revelio. It's ghosting hour. Cool, let's go to the Owlry. Revelio. I don't believe I've been here yet. Quest updated, Summoner's Court, match one. Oh, that's the Summoner's Court quest. I mean, I might as well do it since I'm here. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Sure. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. What are the rules? Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Use the Accio okay. to summon the ball as close as you can to the edge without going over. Oh, okay. Nothing to it. Accio. Whoops. Didn't think you were a match for me. Accio. Try to beat that. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Well, I tried to knock his balls off, but I didn't manage to. And now I'm not going to defeat my, him. Uh, my wand slipped. See, I can't knock any of these off because there's a barricade in the way. So the most I can do now is try to get some high points. Accio! Oh! Oh, the bumpers! Missed the mark a bit on that one. Yeah. Wait, the... did I win? <laughs> I won. He won. The bumpers are spring-loaded. If you get too close, they actually bounce your balls off the <laughs> platform. We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. 
Oh, ouch! Points to Gryffindor, I guess. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. All right, so I need to knock his balls off. Fuck you. Tricky. Akio. Nope, didn't knock it off. That was one for the ages. Akio. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, now this is dangerous. If I don't do it just right, I'll knock my Nothing own to it. ball off. Lucky shot. Okay. I knocked his. I knocked his in. Try well, to beat that. I just need to do really well at this one. Akio. No! 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 I've seen worse. Oh! Oh! He's seen worse, everybody. This guy needs to be knocked down a few pegs. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Got it. You could use the practice. The Summer is caught. The ever-changing game. Akio. See if I can actually knock his ball off this time. Instead of knocking it into a bigger score. It's the same spot. All in the wrist. Akio. No, 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 no! Didn't think you were a match for me. Shut your Akio. face! Just for that, I got a clear Nothing shot here. It. I'm gonna knock your ball out. No! Oh, why didn't it knock off? That was one for the ages. And I gave him Up a here. bigger score. Try to beat that. Yeah, well. There's no way. Akio. Oh! Missed the mark a bit on that one. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Yes! I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. You can shut up. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Oh! Okay. All in the wrist. Hmm. Akio. Oh, oh, come on! Why? Just... <laughs> I've seen worse. Oh, I've seen worse, this smug little twerp. Nothing to it. Maybe I can knock them both off if I do this right. No. You're not bad at this. Akio. Wait. Come on, Leander. Oh. 
If I just get it into the blue, I win this one. That was one for the ages. What? Well done. That was 50. You beat me. Yay! I did it finally. God. Bit of good luck. That's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. <laughs> I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. You're clearly not cut out for this. Well, we'll just keep practicing. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Yay! Wow, that was annoying. Match one done. Indigo the Blue Gem says, sent via messenger also. You're scary when you yell. <laughs> Am I scary when I yell? Okay. How do I go over here? Is it on the world map? I guess it is. To the tower! Have we been in here? Revelio. No. Locked. There's a chest in there, too. I'm finally going to get the ability to unlock doors and then have to go back through all of this. Ugh. Quest updated. Ollivander's heirloom. What? <clears throat> what updated on the quest? And why is this sending me to Ghost of Our Love? I'll get that one later. Let's track this one. Here we go. And we'll get the Ghost of Our Love when we get the, to the tower. Revelio. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Revelio. Statues upstairs amongst the owls. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Yeah, but let's climb, because I know that there's another quest up here. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Ah! <laughs> Got it. This is the... There it is, map with the floating candles. Map with the floating candles. Okay. Uh, all right. Bridge, arch with a waypoint. 
in a town off in the distance. So by Hogsmeade? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Let me also. No statues here. This'll do nicely. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. <laughs> Nothing. Revelio. Oh, Accio. I see. Here's a welcome surprise. Accio! I'll take that, thank you. It's set for up here, yeah. Whoops. Empty purchase. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Alright, so I put the statues here. Now, Revelio. Accio. Two more. Revelio. Accio. This'll do nicely. One more. Rebellion. Accio. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owl Ring. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Okay, one more. Uh, no, there it is. Accio. What's happening? Is. I see he lost his head. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. Uh -oh. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I mean, the light breeze was the axe flying towards the 
head, right? If not an axe, maybe it was a trap. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Right! A bit grisly. But! We are making progress. I think we did everything up here. Revelio. And remember, we found that map. I think it was outside of Hogsmeade. There's a bridge right outside Hogsmeade, isn't there? Let's go to quest. Is it marked as the ghost of our love? The map portrays a forest, bridge, and candles. I've put it in my bag for reference. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. Notice there's a town off in the distance. There's a waypoint by a wrecked arch and a bridge before it. You know what? I'm going to guess that it's not coinci coincidence that this map was placed so close to this quest in the rookery. So what if I just continue with the primary quest? Because he did say we were going to a forest and there's a forest right there and maybe we'll just walk right past it. Jackdaw's Rest. And we get ex requirements expel a rama. So oh, we're going to need that. Ooh. There's a Merlin trail on the way. There's a ruined castle. There's a way marker. And there's a bridge. Hello. What are you up to now? Aha! It's just like in the picture. There's a ruined arch. There's markers. There's the bridge. All right. I need Expelleramus for this. I'm going to go ahead and get my light on for this. Lumos. Follow the candles. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. There we go. Nothing like getting sidetracked by a side quest while on another quest. Ooh, we're going into the Forbidden Forest. Oh, great. We're following candles into a Forbidden Forest, which just so happens to be the exact... The candles same. seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Thank you. Yes, I figured that out. A 
There's a monster nearby. And we're gonna walk right by it. Well, that was a tough guy, but one down. There's something else over there. Okay, our quest is taking us there, but this thing is taking us over here. Don't go right, don't go right. It's going to go right. No. It's going left. Yay. We're avoiding that monster over there. Extreme danger. God. All right. How about a hard save? Let's let's do a hard save. Uh, settings. Save game. Hard save. The treasure must be nearby. Oh. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Revelio. Treasure hunting suits me. Okay, there we go. That was it. Okay. Now, there was something on the map that I noticed as we walked down the trail and it had a strange icon. Yeah, what's this? Small bandit camp. Interesting. And also a spider lair. Oh God. Well, we can do that after we complete our main quest. I don't want to get sidetracked right now. Trevor says, can't wait till you start turning people into exploding barrels. I mean, that sounds fun. <laughs> These rocks have seen better days. Hmm. Revelio. Ooh, there's a ruin here. Hello. Well, well. What have we here? Akio. Ah. <laughs> Is this related to my quest or not? Incendio. Revelio. I don't think so. Well, let's dive down and see what trouble we can get into. Oh. Oh. Can I repair those bones? <laughs> what happens if I repair the bones? I gotta find out. Repair it. Nothing. Incendio. Let me also. 
Well, that's terrifying. Thank you. Thank you. Inferni must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Visit the collections menu to learn about enemy weaknesses. Incendio. The power. Incendio. Well, that's awful. Akio. Huh. Do I repair it or float it? Repair it. I think I float it. Let me also. I don't float it. Do I burn it? Incendio. I don't burn it. Do I move it? Accio. There's nothing in there but bones. Revelio. Akio. Okay, so I don't know what that is. Do I piece this together? Incendio. Julian Z says, Ox, before doing your main quest, you might want to sell your gear as this will take you to a place you can't fast travel out of. And if you leave, you might lose progress. Uh, Ox, you missed your, my super chat, says Julian. Okay, thank you, Julian. Akio. Kinda janky. But it worked in the end. Okay, was that it? Revelio. I think that was it. Okay, well, we stumbled upon an interesting puzzle. We need to meet Richard Jackdaw over here. And there is a fast travel marker nearby. I could go there, then I could fast travel somewhere to, to sell and then meet him back there. Oh, what? What was that? I here, I wonder. What was oh, that? Oh, I shall enjoy this. Never
never understood laws. All they do is interfere with making a video show. Explode quickly! What are you doing? That's the best you can do, is it? Oh, 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 you had me there! Incendio! It's you. Let me also. Ah, Rookwoods don't go down easy. You will pay for that. Let me also. Okay, well that, uh, I was trying to follow a ghostly wraith or something that flew through the sky, but I stumbled upon a bandit camp instead. Incendio. And there's a fast travel marker really close. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, but it's Rebellion. not the right one. I'm trying to get over here. Wasn't there another fast travel marker nearby? Maybe that's the one that I just got. Okay, uh, how much do I have in my inventory anyway? Eight of twenty slots. Oh, that's level locked. Level twenty. That's worse. I'm not carrying a lot of other gear. So, we'll continue for now. Revelio. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Lots of nasty little beasties nearby. Here we are. Revelio. Gotta check under the bridge. You always gotta check under the bridge. Never know what you'll find. Uh, Von Rex says, look at your challenges. You have to click on the rewards to unlock them, including more inventory spaces from Merlin's. Oh, really? I didn't realize. I thought that was just for gear. All right, let's go to challenges. All right, I don't want to fill my inventory up, so anything that gives me an item, I'm not going to unlock just yet. Here you go, Merlin's Trials. Increased storage for gear. Cool. All right, and so that's the one I'm doing now. There's another cloak. Defeat Inferni. Necromantic Protection 1. Gear trait recipe reward. Hey. But I need to come I need to defeat 10. 10. 30. 5. 10. This one's done. Lupus protection one. I see. Okay. 
combat quests. This is more gear. I'm not going to unlock these yet. Oh, these are appearances. Oh, okay. So they don't add an item to my inventory. They're just appearances. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Indigo the Blue Gem says, should I leave work Aside early? From Anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've That's up to you, helpful. my friend. Thank you. It is President's Day if there was ever a day to leave Surprising work how much early. of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. It's a federal holiday. Hmm. Yes. You know... The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. I think that's French. Right. Hard save. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. a lot of awful spiders. Indigo the Blue Gem says a federal holiday means squat when you work for McDonald's. Lumos. Oh, well. Then do what you think is best, my friend. Expelliarmus. Nope, I need to burn that. Incendium. Protego. 
Lumos. Revelio. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Okay, Beastie's nearby. What is that? Rebellion. Is that an owl? Or a bat? Ow. So dark. Lumos. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Described. There's the bird bath, and we've got a new fast travel marker. All right, Revelio. Incendio. Let's do a hard save. Okay, so what spell would work here? Oh, we whisper the password, okay. Intramuros. That's right. Lumos. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, ah! <laughs> uh, <gasps> oh. Akia. That was unimpressive. Incendio. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Whew. Okay. Enter Jack Dawes tomb. Well, let's see if we can keep our head. Look out for uh, low hanging branches. I wonder how big this place is. Revelio. Okay, I heard something Wing by. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Ah! 
here. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Bridge repaired. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Treasure over there. But which is the way I'm supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go down that way. Let's get the treasure. This is probably a big fight. I'm not gonna touch those. Ugh. Draconic long coat. It's an orange legendary. Let's take a look. Is it better? It is. Hey. Looking good. Ooh, there's a skeleton hanging up in there. Revelio. Nasty. Summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Okay, but what's down here? Another puzzle. But well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Revelio. So the other one is way over there. Revelio. See that? Right, so I'm betting that I gotta solve this puzzle down here first. But you know what? I might not have enough Rebellion. time today to complete this dungeon. Ah, freaking spiders. Incendio, Rodrigo. An 
untouched chest. Tarador wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Akio! I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Levioso Accio Okay, I guess I was wrong This is a dead end Which means I'm gonna have to figure out how to Zap that thing from a distance Great. Okay, so we've got one, two, Revelio, three, four. How on earth are we going to get that fourth one? My wand can't even get there. Maybe that's for a different puzzle. Revelio. Yeah, it is. About six minutes left, folks. Revelio. Okay, there's spiders waiting for me up there. See that? Let me go, gonna jump down on me as soon as I get through. Which is the way I'm supposed to go? I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Revelio! It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. I feel like we missed a path, too. Now, the last time we saw those floating pat platforms, it was a puzzle with which led to loot. 
But let's see what's down here. Oh. Oh, this is the way we came... Okay. So I missed... It was... It, the connection was that I turned right, and then it looped back around. Yeah, I went... Right, and then that looped around over here when I jumped down there, so this is the way to go. Akio. gonna lead to more loot. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. I like how this character is just as interested in loot as I am. Like, his big concern in this dungeon is that Jackdaw left all this wonderful loot. How could he? The audacity. He came here, but he Ooh. left all of this? <laughs> Rebellio. Accio. Levioso. Accio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loop, but there's no sign of him. Okay, can I crawl through there, or is that a dead end? Incendio! It's a dead end. Let's go through some of the loot we've got, see if it's any better. Nope, that's worse. And that's it. Oh wait, no, headwear. Yay, it's better. <laughs> God, I guess. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Oh, that's better, yay! Oh, a stylish top, I'm a magician. I'm, I am a magician. <laughs> Rebellion. 
Treasure. Is that the one I already looted? I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Saying the exact same dialogue. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. If they're gonna put dialogue in, they should make it unique for each thing. Oh, lots of paths. Gosh. One, two. That's not a path, that's a window, and that's the path forward, because it's illuminated. This is gonna be loot. Akio! That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. And I'm guessing that's the way down. circles back around okay so this was the second path I could have taken which leads back to the main cave and the marked path forward well I hate to do it because I really want to finish exploring this but I am out of time I need to get dinner ready for the kids so I'm gonna do a hard save here and we'll pick up right here where we leave off on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody, for coming to this week's episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, thank you for uh, your patience with the late broadcast time today on President's Day. Uh, working on my new lore video for the weekend. It's going to be a doozy. We're going to be tackling some of the sometimes overlooked side quests inside the Institute before continuing on with the primary quest. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday. I hope you celebrate it well. Uh, and I'll see you all real soon with more lore videos more live streams. Bye-bye.